Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. <laughs> The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good. It's refreshing, and the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will, too. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Mia. If there's one thing I'm proud of in America, Mamma Mia, it's the friends I made in my night of school. I remember once when Schultz got sick, so I watched his delicatessen. Meanwhile, the Horowitz's come to watch my antique shop. Also, as I watched the Horowitz's tailor store, and when Schultz found this out, he's a jump out of bed to drive Olsen's milk a truck for him. <laughs> that was the day four people almost went out of business. <laughs> Oh, we have lots of fun together, Mamma Mia. Every night after school, when we go for coffee, I yell, I'm going to pay the check. Horowitz says it's his turn. Schultz says he's not going to let us. Then old cinema takes care of everything. He's a toss the coin to see if it's going to be me, Schultz, or a Horowitz. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but the reason, the reason I'm right to you about my night school of friends, Mamma Mia, is because today I got invitation from a Horowitz and invited me to his 25th wedding anniversary party that he's going to have in his home this Sunday. Isn't that the wonderful Mamma Mia? 25 years of marriage. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pascal. Hey, how come your head is all crinkled up, a little banana nose? <laughs> well, I'm thinking of Pascal. That's nice. You mind if I jump into your head and join you? <laughs> no, Pascal, tell me something. What would you give somebody who's married 25 years? All of my sympathy. <laughs> no, but Pascal, I'm serious. Horowitz has got his 25th wedding anniversary this is Sunday with the house party. And, and I'm, I'm like to give him something. Fine. Why don't you bring him a rose along? <laughs> oh, but Scotty, stop for joking. All right, all right. Tell me, how much money you got to spend, Luigi? Three dollars. Three dollars. Well, you could buy him a lazy Susie. <laughs> <laughs> lazy Susie? Yeah. Who's that? That's not a who's, that's a what's. <laughs> lazy Susie is five, six little plates on a merry-go-round. You spin them around and see what you eat. That's like playing a roulette with a food. That's not the I want. I want something that's going to be real big surprise for Horowitz. All right, I got it. Bring him a pair of Coro earrings. That should surprise him, eh? <laughs> I see you're going to be no help to me, Pascal, because... Well, I'm going to my ex-school, and, and all of my friends are there. They're going to help me. Hey, Luigi, wait. Tell me, how come you never want to marry my Rosie, yet you're such a big believer all of a sudden in a marriage? Well, because, Pasquale, that the big, nobody is a believer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you boob. Don't you know a wife is a wife, no matter who you marry? What's the difference if you marry a Marilyn Monroe today, and she's going to be fat 25 years later? <laughs> You marry my Rosie, you got it today. <laughs> uh, well, 
Papa Scully, is it time enough for me to go to my night to school? Hey, wait, Louise. I got a good idea. You really want to surprise the Horowitz. I yeah. tell you what. Give him that new botchamy song. Huh? That's all about a kissing. After 25 years, people forget those things. A botchamy, a botchamy, you, a botchamy, everything. A botchamy, a botchamy, you. Well, it sure that means a kiss of me, I kiss of you. Hey, that's a nice, Pascal. I, I think I'm going to learn that the song. Good. Well, goodbye, Pascal, and, and thanks, thanks so much for that idea. <laughs> I, I want to be the first to congratulate Horowitz when he comes in tonight. Well, me too, Arsene. How must it be a big thing to be married 25 years, huh? No, what big? All you need is a wife and a tremendous capacity for absorbing punishment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smile, I'm only joking. <laughs> you know, I, I read in the newspaper about one couple who celebrated their 75th wedding anniversary by Yemeni. Seventy-five years of marriage. No. Him will not even one year off for good behavior. <laughs> uh, sure, sir. I wonder why, why Horowitz is so late tonight. Uh, oh, hello. I'm Mr. Horowitz's son. Oh, Mr. Horowitz's son? Oh, Mr. Horowitz's son. Hey, look what a big fellow he is. <laughs> uh, uh, what's, uh, what's your name? Arnold. Oh, Arnold. Hello, Arnold. Oh, Arnold. Oh, well, well, why you come? Something is wrong with you, Pop? Oh, no, it's not that. I'd better talk fast because my mother's detaining him. But she can't for very long. He loves his night school. Yeah, tell us, Arnold, what's the story? Well, the whole family is getting together to make my parents a big surprise banquet in Holiday Hall. That's a couple of blocks from our house. A surprise party? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, but then, uh, then, then, then what's going to happen with a nice little house party? Oh, we forget about that. Forget it. Ach, Luigi, the boy is talking about a coronation, and you are worrying about a coffee clutch. <laughs> good evening, gentlemen. Oh, good evening. Miss Balling, I wonder you should meet the Mr. Horowitz's son, Arnold. How do you do, Mr. Horowitz? Uh, I'm very pleased to meet you, Miss Balding. Gosh. Yeah, now you know why your father loves night school so much. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Falding, have you already received the invitation to our house party in the mail? Yes. Well, we've decided to surprise my parents with a catered banquet for 100 people. Oh, I think that's wonderful. And they know nothing about it? No. And I was hoping you'd all help out a little. Oh, we'd love to. Well, well, we need somebody to keep father and mother out of the house till 4.30 p.m. while we get things ready. Inasmuch as they're expecting a party to begin at their house... Perhaps you can arrange to go somewhere with them this Sunday. Ah, that is easy. Yeah, I, I'm going to take them to a movie on my block. That, that movie shows three features on four Donald Duck cartoons. <laughs> once, once you get inside, you need an army discharge to get out. <laughs> Schultz, please. I, I think we can easily take care of that, Mr. Horowitz. Thank you very much. Well, I'd better go before my dad gets here. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, Arnold. Yeah. No. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Miss Spaulding. All right, Arnold. The class is filled and we ain't taking in any more customers. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia. That's going to be beautiful a surprise for the Horowitzes, huh? Don't you want to be anything? Well, we'll dispense with the lesson for a few minutes. Himmel, just when I did my homework. <laughs> Please, Schultz, uh, Horowitz will be here any second. Well, I see one problem. Now, Mr. Horowitz might get suspicious if all four of us suddenly ask him out. You're right, Miss Pauling. I'm going to do it. No, it was my idea, but... Well, then, both of you. All right, go Now, I assume we'll all chip in to buy them a gift. I, I would suggest, if you don't mind, that uh, I buy the gift. And what am I going to do? But instead of shipping in Olsen, you put up all the money for the gift. <laughs> Mr. Olsen, you be the supervisor and make sure I get all the money. The time is right. Mr. and Mrs. Horowitz meet Mr. Basco and Mr. Schultz. Oh, and uh, uh, Shh, sh 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 wait, what yeah. I think Horowitz is coming. Now be careful. Not a word of this to Mr. Horowitz. <laughs> yeah, well, the way we plotted this out, we could rent ourselves out as a spy network. <laughs> <laughs> 
present, Miss Balding. Don't mark me absent. Well, just take your seat, Mr. Haraway. Thank you. Schultz, fellas, why you all grinning at me like that? Uh, all of it. Uh, how would you like to go with me and Luigi to the movies this Sunday? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I don't, hey, you, you come with us, huh? Uh, uh, we're going in the afternoon. I can go, fellas. Don't you remember? You're all invited to my silver anniversary party this Sunday in my house. Remember? Oh, oh, that's right. By yeah, many y'all. Well, sure, sure. Well, how, do we, how could we forget it? Fellas, Miss Spaulding, I'm counting on you all to come. Please don't disappoint me. It would be a terrible shock to me if, if any of you should forget. And it will be a bigger shock to you if you remember. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh. Miss Spaulding, please. Start the class before Olsen up, opens up his big mouth again and I put my foot into it. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that'll help carry you through the day feeling more relaxed and satisfied. From time to time, especially when you're tense or under pressure, chew a stick of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. You see, chewing on a good, smooth piece of gum just naturally gives you comfort and satisfaction. It sort of relaxes you without slowing you down or interfering with what you're doing. Besides, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum tastes good. You get real taste enjoyment out of its delicious, long-lasting spearmint flavor. So do as millions do. Enjoy chewing Wrigley Spearmint Gum every day. See how it helps you go through the day feeling more relaxed and satisfied. That's Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. Now, let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, today, me and Schultz, we're taking the Horowitzes to the movies, so the Sunnies are going to have a time to fix up a big surprise banquet in the hall. First, the Horowitzes who said they didn't want to go to the movies, but Mr. Horowitz is a crazy for it to have with and Mrs. Horowitz is a crazy for popcorn, so we found the movie where they got a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, stop with that letter. We got a million things to do today. What, what things, is yours, well, I, I just got a call from the supervisor, Olsen. You know, yeah. He says that the movie will end at 3.45 p.m., which means we got to find a way to kill another 45 minutes with the Horowitz. Oh, well, that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's a bigger, bigger problem, but... But, but, but where are we going to take him after the movies, Schultz? Ah, uh, Luigi, tell me, do you know if Mrs. Horowitz shoots pool? <laughs> Schultz, what do you think about the zoo? I think it's a wonderful place for keeping animals. <laughs> oh, sure, the zoo, the zoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to buy the Horowitzes a dollar's worth of peanuts. They stuff the monkeys. Then we take them to the banquet and we stuff ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, Schultz, huh? how are we going to make the Horowitzes go to this holiday hall? You mind repeating that, please? <laughs> how are the Horowitzes going to go to the holiday hall when they want to go straight to home to the little house party? Himmel, Luigi, why do you think of the hardest things last? <laughs> Maybe we better call a supervisor Olsen for some advice. Yeah, the supervisor. Well, well, look what we got ahead. The string of bean and the cabbage head. <laughs> Pasquale, it was a little chilly before you came in. Now, thank goodness, we got plenty of hot air. <laughs> Listen, you knock wash the cutter. I'm going to turn... No, 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 Pasquale, Pasquale. Hey, Schultz, Schultz had that idea. What? We can use a Pasquale. Huh? Use me for what? Who knows? Maybe to test out electric chairs. <laughs> no, 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 Schultz, listen. Listen, that's a good idea. Because a Pasquale, 
He can stand out the side the holiday holler. Yeah. Then we pass it by after the movies or with the horror witches. Then Pasquale says, uh, here's a friend uh, is uh, having a big party on the first floor and, uh, and we all are sure to go upstairs and, uh, and have a quick a little bite. Well, I don't know. No, no, please, please, Pasquale. Then uh, you come up to the hall. Uh, you're going to hear me sing that, that uh, kissing a song to the horror witches. You know, that the, 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 the Pachi, Pachi Me song. Luigi, you are going to sing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it going to be a surprise, the Schultz? Well, I'm a singer pretty good. Go on, tell him, Pasquale. Good. Next to him, Woody the Woodpeck is like a Caruso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but please, come on, Pasquale. Be a sport, huh? What do you say? Well, Luigi, if I come, I'm going to bring you the rosa to the party. Mamma mia. What? And uh, no jokes. All right, all right, you can bring it us. Yeah, sure. Horowitz would love to have her. You promise it? Boy Scouts I, honor? I promise it. Mamma mia, with, with the rosa there, Horowitz has got to order for another 25 people. <laughs> How did you like the picture? Wonderful, Luigi. Wonderful. You know, I was surprised. The fair in Trinidad. I thought it was going to be about a bazaar. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I liked it. And you, Mr. Schultz. Uh, well, I tell you, Mrs. Horowitz, uh, for me it's very hard to be critical because, you see, with Rita Hayworth pictures, I always got to see those twice. Yeah, the first time around, I watch only her legs. The second time I watched the acting. <laughs> <laughs> sure, so that's why you wanted to see half the picture over again. Mm. And he told me it was because they were making up a fresh batch of popcorn. <laughs> uh, well, wait, uh, sure, sir, Mr. Harris. I, I think we better walk faster, you know. It's, it's, it's already almost so far. You're right, right. Luigi. My son Arnold must have the house all fixed up by the party for now, huh? Oh, he's a wonderful boy, my Arnold. Everything he's taking care of. Even the food he's bringing in catered, so I shouldn't have to wash the dishes. Oh, Mrs. Zahara, uh, when, when you go, first got married, was it, was it a big, big wedding? <laughs> big. We had the ceremony in her mother's house. All day long, Esther was busy cooking, baking, and cleaning. That's right, Mason. And even while I was saying I do, I was worried if the blintzes were burning. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you made a beautiful bride, Esther. A beautiful, blushing bride. What blushing? My face was flushed from standing over the hot stove all day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 wait, look, look. And that's a... Uh... Pasquale over there? There. No, sure, that's Pasquale outside of Holiday Hall. You see him? Hey, Schultz. Oh, oh Pasquale. Oh, 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 oh. I was just going upstairs. Hey, Horowitz, oh. one of my customers is giving a big party upstairs. I was about coming up a few minutes. Have a drink. Oh, that's a wonderful oh, idea. That's we begin idea. Idea. Yeah, sure. Come on upstairs, <laughs> Mr. Mrs. Horowitz. You all invited. Yeah, sure. Luigi, please, you're embarrassing us that we can't accept Pasquale's hospitality. But you know we No, 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 Horowitz. Just, just for one... You're only one minute. You're just for a Look, in a quarter of five, they must be worried where we are. Come on. Schultz, Luigi, come on. We better hurry up. Sure, so what are we going to do? No, Pasquale, you wait here. We figure out a way to get them back. What about Rosa? She's hiding behind the steps. Should I let her walk up? Don't let her smell the food or she'll fly up. <laughs> to go up to the apartment. Oh, don't be foolish, Luigi. Yeah, why shouldn't we go out? Uh, because, uh, because, because the whole neighborhood has got the measles and your house is quarantined. What? <laughs> <laughs> Schultz always with his jokes. Hmm. Sounds very quiet in the apartment, Esther. Oh, go ahead, Nathan. Ring the bell and it'll get noisy. Hmm. No answer. Hmm, that's funny. Maybe they think we should be surprised. All right, open the door and act surprised. Hmm. It's dark inside. Yeah, I, I wonder if everybody forgot us on our 25th anniversary. Uh, do you think so, Nathan? 
Mm. I don't know, Esther. I'll put on the lights and see. There's nobody here. Where's everybody? Louise, Louise, I can't go on the stairs. Uh, no, 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 yes. please. Don't, don't, don't get excited, the Hutter Witch, is it? Don't get excited, he says. Nathan, something terrible happened. Arnold had an accident. Maybe his appendix busted. No, no. We took it out when he was 12 years old. Do you remember, Esther? Well, so it grew back. <laughs> Nathan, call up the hospital. Do something. No, please, please. No, 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 Esther, please let me think a minute. No, wait, wait. Into my head, and I see it just pooped. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. They all had a fight, and they are all down in the bleed station. Huh? Ah, the bleed. <laughs> Yeah, sure, 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 sure. What are you saying, sure? No, believe me, Luigi, that's the best idea yet. The station house. Come, they'll go straight to the police station. No, no, I, no I'm gonna tell them. Sure what are you standing around? Come, Nathan, they'll go to the police but station. But our family doesn't fight. Well, maybe on our anniversary they did. No, 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 no Quiet, no, friend, Luigi. Just... Luigi, Holiday Hall is on the way to the police station. Well, Luigi, are you coming? Holiday. Well, sure. If every family has got to have a fight at some time. Uh, are you sure the police station is this way, Mr. Shaw? Ah, sure, certainly. Every other week I'm there. You are? <laughs> sure, I play pinochle with the lieutenant. <laughs> Funny how after I lose a few games, he lets me keep the store open on Sundays. <laughs> no, no, how do it, how do believe in me, how do it, you want in it for nothing? I just don't understand it, Luigi. <sighs> hey, wait, wait, the shirt's off. Just a look. Oh, here's the holiday holly. Yeah. Oh. Sure, where's the Pasquale? I think he smelled the food, too, and they both flew up. <laughs> <laughs> Say, come on, come on, everybody. Are we all going to go up the stairs a few minutes and, and join up Pasquale's friends of party? Yeah, sure. Are you crazy? No, no come on, Mrs. Horowitz. I, I, I'll do a Charleston that will make South Carolina the seed from the Union. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're both crazy. My son is in the police station, and who knows what happened in the fight, and you want to go to a party. Luigi, I'm surprised. Mr. and Mr. Horowitz, you both are very stubborn. You don't know if anything is wrong, and I'm a cant and assault a friend of a friend of mine who's having a party upstairs. That's all Italian custom. If you pass under the hall, then you got to go up. Yeah, sure, that's, a, that's a old Austrian custom, too. <laughs> wow. Ah. Horowitz... Hello, it's listen, we all the friends, but if you don't come up the stairs with me, then I'm never going to speak it to you no more. What? All right. Just for a minute. Come on, Esther. It's just for a friend. I don't like such strong friendships. <laughs> Ach, listen, what a party they got going on there. Yeah, doesn't it sound wonderful, Hello, it's... Yeah, sounds wonderful. <laughs> well, come on, let's go in. We thought he was killed and he's on a party. And look, there's the Pelmans and the Lunto. And the president of your lodge. Oh, and Nathan, it's our whole family. Well, well, stop crying, everybody, and give a yell. <laughs> Esther. Esther, it's for us. Oh, yeah, I ask you, Nathan. Does it pay to have children? Mommy, I'm going to run out to the matter. I say I want to turn the kids to myself. Oh, wait, 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 everybody. I'm going to get another surprise for Horowitz. I'm going to sing Italian a kiss me song. But, Jimmy. And Luigi, I've got another big surprise. Are you going to sing it with me, Pascal? Yeah, not only me, but the roses are going to sing it too. Mamma mia, that's a surprise. That's a bigger than a bottom. That's a... <laughs> Come on, Pasquale. I'm, I'm going to sing the first one. And then you come in and sing it. All right, go on, Caruso. Sing. Ba, 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 cha, me, bambino. Ba, 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 cha, coccolina. When you kiss me, and I'm a kiss you. Tra, la, 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 Ba, 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 cha, me, my baby. Ba, ba, bo, bo. Just to see you, maybe it be you squeeze me, and I'm a squeeze you. To run, la 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 la
B-O, fly, oh, B-O, boo. When you botch me, I botch you, and everything goes crazy. Uh, 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 <laughs> Now I'm going to call my daughter Rosa to say, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. <laughs> yes, my little lily pans. Lily pans, that's up to 150 pounds. <laughs> The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that chewing delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is a pleasant, inexpensive way to freshen your taste and sweeten your breath. Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum has a refreshing, long-lasting, real spearmint flavor, a flavor that millions enjoy. Then, too, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is smooth and good to chew on. It gives you real chewing satisfaction. So for a clean, sweet breath, plus pleasant chewing, treat yourself often to Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. Get a few packages and always keep some handy. Remember, that's Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hunt Conry as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Balding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olson, and Sarah Berner as Mrs. Horowitz. The music is under the direction of Lud Gluston. This is Charles Lyon. This is the CBS Radio Network.